Delhi's stinking mess has roiled the High Court, slamming civic bodies over piles of garbage in the city. The bench remarked, officials are not acting for the people. The Delhi High Court has already wrapped three municipal corporations in the national capital for not doing their duties on time. We already know that there are about 100 cases of chikungunya and dengue already in the national capital. But uh, the, the desilting of drains and picking up of sewages and cleaning up of garbage is not being done as the High Court noted for the MCDs. We have filed our status report saying that uh, our domestic breed checkers are going house to house checking and uh, disinfecting the areas. Secondly, we are desilting the drains regularly. Despite court, uh, numerous court orders, no action plan has been submitted by any government department. In fact, all these status reports show that everything is perfectly all right, which is contrary to the uh, reality which is there on ground. But political parties who have been promising a garbage-free and dengue-free Delhi since the elections are busy passing the buck. तो अगर आपके घर में कल को कोई डेंगू चिकनगुनिया मलेरिया से बीमार होता है फिर यह समझ लेना आप ही जिम्मेदार हो क्योंकि आपने डेंगू वाली पार्टी को वोट दिया आपने चिकनगुनिया वाली पार्टी को वोट दिया आपने मच्छरों वाली पार्टी को वोट दिया कूड़ा मुक्त दिल्ली हमारा सबसे बड़ा उद्देश्य है वही अभियान है स्वस्थ दिल्ली हो और स्वच्छ दिल्ली हो पूरी दिल, दिल्ली को मच्छर मुक्त मच्छरों से मुक्त बनाने के लिए एक कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव प्रपोजल बनाया जाए सिटीजन्स इन द मीन टाइम कंटिन्यू टू सफर मेरे को दोनों हो चुका हुआ है एक साल चिकनगुनिया हुआ एक साल डेंगू हुआ और इस कॉलोनी में बहुत लोगों को हुआ छः छः महीने लोग चल नहीं पाए हम लोगों की टांगें बिल्कुल टेढ़ी मेढ़ी हो गई जहाँ तक सफाई की और उसकी बात है हमारा खुद का गुजरने वाला पार्ट टू का अपने हमारे एम्प्लॉय हैं हमने सफाई कर्मचारी अपने रखे हुए हैं अपनी सोसाइटी के कॉस्ट पे हम एमसीडी पे डिपेंड नहीं हैं क्योंकि हमने पीछे कई सालों में देख लिया एमसीडी काम नहीं कर रही थी जिस वजह से हमें मजबूरन ये कदम उठाना पड़ा रोड पे जो इंक्रोचमेंट है जितना गंद है वहाँ लिटल करते हैं वहाँ ही सब कुछ वहाँ होता है असली बीमारियाँ तो वहाँ से फैलती हैं उनको तो पूछते ही नहीं है जाके कोई भी अगर चलान काटने के लिए आएंगे तो पर्ची यहाँ के लिए लेके लिए आ जाएंगे और यहाँ भी नालियों की जो है ना प्रॉपर सप्लाई जो है प्रॉपर सफाई जो है ना वो नहीं हुई कोई भी मतलब बिल्कुल कभी भी नहीं हुई Here's the question we are asking on the urban debate. When will the Delhi government take stock of the situation? Will we wait till we see another outbreak of the vector borne diseases? Mirror now report. Well this is what the Delhi High Court had to say to the Delhi MCD today. It said the municipal corporations have reduced the Swachh Bharat campaign to a complete naught. with their inaction and their apathy to clean up the city it went on to say that this was a blatant violation of the statutory provisions and court orders that the corporations have not moved a single step this termed this behavior as shocking despite the concerns raised by the court it said the court has said passing orders that this is the cause of the city delhi has to live some urgency needs to be shown it said that this is an unfortunate situation and their rules have fallen on deaf ears the corporations are in complete breach of the rights of citizens under the constitution apart from provisions of the dmc act it said that it reflects complete apathy and inability and irreversible it will have an irreversible effect on the environment The court also asked don't these officials care about people don't you care about people what a beautiful question to ask tonight don't you care about people people die in our national capital of a disease that should be completely completely prevented but as the delhi high court has prom has pointed out today you don't care You don't care. The Delhi MCD is run by the BJP. The Delhi state government is run by the Aam Aadmi Party and because these two parties could never see eye to eye and they spend most of their time discrediting each other, no work gets done in Delhi. And as a result, for those of us watching across the country, we recognize a symptom of a very common problem. 
The disease here in this case is corruption. Joining me on the show this evening, Shikha Rai is the Vice President of the Delhi BJP. Kamal Mitra Shnoi is a supporter of the Aam Aadmi Party. Vimali Nuja is an environmentalist. Dr. Ravi Malik is the Chairman Managing Director at Radix Hospital in Delhi. Sunita Godara is a social activist. Arpit Bhargava is the petitioner in this particular case. And Arvind Mehta is the President of the RWA, the Residents Welfare Association. I'm going to go to Arpit first who was a petitioner in this case. The Delhi yes. High Court clearly pointing out that the Delhi MCDs simply don't care. Uh, it is really unfortunate that uh, the citizens of Delhi are being forced to live like this. And this is not the first time, by the way, that the Honorable High Court has passed such strict orders. In 1998, for the very first time, 10,000 cases of dengue and 450 deaths took place and it was then that the central government and state governments were in for a shock and the Honorable High Court had made a system and in fact given a detailed judgment and it was then that the National Vector Bond Disease Program was uh, came into picture and repeated orders were passed till 2006 nothing happened on ground in 2006 again dengue was at its peak Again, the High Court came into picture. Again, it passed strict orders. Nothing happened. Now, we are in 2017. Just believe me, 20 years have gone by. High Court and Supreme Court has been passing orders, but nothing has been done by any government on ground. And we, as citizens of Delhi, are suffering badly. That's a very well, that's that's the right way to put it. I'm going to bring in Shikha Rai, Vice President of the BJP in Delhi. Shikha Rai, the BJP promised us before the elections and immediately after that garbage will be picked up from Delhi. Very simple promise. Abgo raste be kura dikhai nahi dega. This is what this is what's happening in Delhi. This was shot by our reporter yesterday yes. and today. Ah, please, but batayiye mujhe if the High Court of Delhi. This is Delhi. This is Delhi today. This is our glorious national capital. Shikha Rai, please tell me, the High Court has said it's obvious that the officials of the MCD are not yes, acting for uh, the people. Truly. Why are they not acting for the people? What is the justification you can give us? No, no, it is, it, 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 no, uh, it is not so that uh, it's not acting for the people. It is for the people, so it has to act for the people. This is not what the uh, High Court thinks. There may be shortcomings, but it is not so that nothing has been done or nothing is being done. I, yes, I could have said for a, a, a simple reason that they had that uh, report before them where it was not lifted for two, three days. I also saw that. But that doesn't mean that it is not the, uh, this garbage is not being lifted from anywhere or there are uh, uh, lots of heaps and lots of this thing about garbage. It is not so exactly. It may be so that there may be shortcomings. Uh, Shikhar, I, Shikhar, I don't, don't give me, uh, don't give me these vague answers. I'm telling areas, you, I'm reading out of the high court general, judgment. No fogging, general, nothing has been done on the ground till date. The, no, the High Court has said so, you've done see, zero. Practically, we all zero. move around in Delhi. No, I'm it showing is, you, I'm showing the entire high country. This is a national right. channel. They, I'm showing they, the entire country footage of Delhi today. This is Delhi today. Are you telling me? With your hand on your heart, you can look at this footage and tell me that the Delhi MCT is doing its job. That Hello? while we are having pre-monsoon uh, pre showers and it is raining in Delhi, if mm. water collects behind this garbage, are you telling me that the citizens of Delhi will not get dengue and chikungunya? Can you tell me for sure? Is this what you promised no, us? Is no, this why you won all. an Who election? Would say? Who would say that? But the fact... Yes, we, we, we promised definitely and we are there on our promise. Nothing to uh, say about that. But yes, of course, I said that maybe some shortcomings, but that doesn't mean that we are not on our promise and nothing is being done. Every day, 9,500 metric ton uh, garbage is being lifted uh, from the dhalaos please, and taken to the... Uh, it is your uh, the, job to uh, pick up landfill. that garbage and it what happens so. to the garbage that you yes, have not picked up? Figures and facts have to speak out. They also... No, no. Don't tell See, me that every is, day you pick up this much garbage. This is the garbage that has to be picked up. What happened to the garbage that you didn't pick up? What is the yes, justification yes, for this garbage? Yes, from the entire daily, this much is being picked up. It, 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 it so happens. 9,500 metric ton is lifted the entire, every day. It is not so that so it is I, not are you, picked are you up Are you discrediting all? the High Court I'm here? And, and, right are you, are you saying that the High Court was wrong today? 
when the high court said that garbage is overflowing see, it's not the and stretching of on the road for no, miles. About that. So you all see everybody, everybody, even you, we move, move around in uh, on Delhi roads. It is not that everywhere there is a garbage. No, I Every tell you where there is no garbage. Where the politicians so. yes, live course, in the I, fancy I, I parts started, of Luthien's Delhi, there is no garbage. By saying that where normal people live, who are not powerful, who are not important, who are not members of parliament, this is where they live. Yes, normal people. Yes, of course, we are normal people. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, we. I'm talking about the normal people. Normal. I don't know who's normal and who's not normal. But yes, of course. Where do we live? We wherever we live and wherever everybody else lives. I started by saying that there may be some locations, some uh, spaces where it is not lifted, and it was shown. But it is not so that it's not being lifted from anywhere. I'm Nothing surprised you didn't make this representation so. to the Delhi High Court. There are so many new schemes under Swachh Bharat, under uh, MCD. You know, you know uh, the uh, report that came that 92 wards in South Delhi MCD are free uh, defecation uh, uh, areas, open defecation free areas. It is not so that nothing is being done. Okay, you know what? Every you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to today. Toilets, uh, uh, my team has given me a made. stack of research. My team has given me a stack of research today. I have a lot of numbers, but I don't have to refer to anything other than the High Court ruling. The Delhi High Court has said, and I'm quoting: "You have turned the municipal corporations have reduced the Swachh Bharat campaign to a complete knot." by their inaction and their apathy to clean up the city of Delhi. I am quoting the High Court. The corporations have not moved a single step. This is in blatant violation of the statutory provisions and court orders. This is what the High Court of Delhi has said about the Delhi MCDs. Now, let me bring in the other members of the panel. Vimlenu Jha, if you are not a member of parliament, how do you live in the city of Delhi? Absolutely. So there's there's nothing called waste management. There's an absolute waste mismanagement that we actually see. And by the way, uh, and BJP has been in power, has been running Municipal Corporation of Delhi for several, several years. And we had a terrible bout of dengue and chikungunya last year, last last year. And God forbid, but we, we you know, the, the reality is that we'll actually have a terrible year this year again. And if the political representative right now is not able to see waste, I think there's some problem. It's a, it's a problem of convenience, it's a problem of acceptance, because we all who live in Delhi, we know that there is waste problem. And by the way, when, you know, Delhi produces around 9,500 metric tons of garbage, but that does not mean that it manages 9,500 metric tons of garbage. It Sometimes it transports garbage from one place to another, but that is not waste management. If you look at waste management budget of Municipal Corporation of Delhi, almost 80 to 90 percent of that budget actually goes only in transporting waste. And in this particular case of the High Court order that we are actually talking about, is that MCD doesn't even care to pick up the, uh, the garbage that we're talking about. So it's, it's, it's so unfortunate that the capital of our country, where from where they, they talk about Swachh Bharat and municipal corporation has completely failed. And by the way, I'm sure the political representative should know that municipal corporation of Delhi has also been rated as one of the most corrupt institutions in the world. So there is corruption, there's lack of you know, political will and, and misgovernance and people have to suffer. Because imagine just a couple of weeks ago, months ago, when they were actually asking us for, uh, you know, to vote for them. And of course, many, many people voted for them. And if Narendra Modi and Amit Shah and many other people voted for, uh, you know, asked for that vote, we will hold them accountable. We'll hold the party accountable. We'll also hold Amadi party accountable because, you know, we've had enough of this politics for the last three years where every time we ask them, where's my Delhi, where's my clean Delhi, they say, oh, well, it is not my responsibility. So they keep passing the buck. It could be BJP's right, right. problem. Vimledu, Vimledu, that's, that's very right. I believe the Ahmadmi Party should also take responsibility. And let me point out to our audience that the Ahmadmi Party is not only reluctant to take responsibility, it's also reluctant to talk about it. It refuses to answer questions. Kamal Mitra as a, as a supporter of the Ahmadmi Party, Kamal Mitra Shinoi, please tell me, please tell me why the Ahmadmi Party refuses to take responsibility for the one city the one said to people who placed their faith in this party and said, yes, we believe you can do a good job. Come and help us out. And now, to have Arvind Kejriwal turn around and tell the city of Delhi that if you vote for a different party, your children will get chicken gunya. How heartless a statement is that to come from the chief minister? 
Well, firstly, I'd like to uh, commend the people who have taken the matter to the High Court. Um, as for Anvil's statement, I have criticized it in the center page of the Indian Express in my overview on 9th May of the Aam Aadmi Party. But I think the serious matter is that everything is getting mixed up. For chicken, gunia, and dengue, the problem is clean water because they breed there. So, we're, so you have to collect that clean water or at least put some kind of insecticide so these mosquitoes can't breed. The other issue that is of garbage is really an issue based, as one of the gentlemen said, on a complete mismatch. You're spending more on transport to g transport this and moving it here and there, but your waste fills are not big enough to uh, accommodate all that garbage. It is true that in posh colonies, not only is uh, garbage li much less, but they are doing their own fogging to kill mosquitoes, usually twice a week, which is with, with no help from the MCD. So obviously, there's something very wrong with the MCD. Not only the High Court, but even the BJP recognized it when they removed all the old MCD councillors. But there's no, but no don't change. You believe, don't you believe, Kamal Pitish that the Aam Party that, should that, take that, some the, responsibility for the city? Some, any, of course any responsibility of for the city at all? Of course they should. They should take responsibility. But what is hap happening is, is a passing of the buck. The, uh, the MCD passes the buck to the Delhi government. The Delhi government passes the buck back. But both are responsible. <clears throat> Even if it is not in Aam Aadmi's writ, every bit of this, a large bit of it, after all, is there. They're the Delhi government. And they should Yamuna actually is a breeding try ground, to Yamuna coordinate between the municipal councillors and the RWAs and others with the citizenry. <coughs> this cannot be done by the MCD or the municipal corporations alone. You have to bring in the resident welfare associations. There must be a constant flow of information and support on both sides. Here, these things have been panned out into some kind of colonies within colonies and no interface and no suggestions. And the but, but what we've seen constantly are decades. promises being and made yet, by various not... political parties to the people of Delhi. None of those promises are being kept. Dr. Mm -hmm. Ravi Malik, Dr. Ravi Malik already in Delhi. Already the city has reported 89 cases of chikungunya, 36 cases of dengue between January and the 13th of May, according to a report released by the Delhi MCD. How much worse do you expect it to get? Do you think it's going to be as bad as last year? Uh, it may be even worse than last year because generally chikungunya and dengue fever, they start in the month of July and they continue till December. And once the rainy season starts, once the humidity comes, once there is collection of water, then these both illnesses, they start. We must appreciate the petitioner for bringing this vital issue to light. And we must also respect the High Court observation. It is a very big thing that High Court is observing uh, that for so many years um, the MCD is not doing the proper job and it is high time that we st uh, stop defending on such a vital issue. As a medical practitioner, I must tell you that uh, dengue fever is a life-threatening fever. People can lose life because of that and plenty of people have lost lives and in coming time, till what time, they will keep on losing their life. It is a life-threatening illness. If someone gets dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome, they will lose their life. And it is not only the mortality which concerns we as medical practitioners, it is also the morbidity. If someone gets chicken gunia, the person, he or she is likely to get joint pains for a long period of time and uh, they may be missing their duties. And so it is a public health problem which should now be addressed. It is high time. It should be addressed properly. And it is not only the question of whether we agree that uh, uh, Aedes mosquito is the culprit behind both the illnesses. It is the bite of the Aedes mosquito which uh, causes uh, both the illnesses. And uh, this mosquito, basically, uh, it develops in a clean water. This we agree. But that is no defense because even, even the dirty water, the garbage, they are going to spread a lot of illnesses. It is only... The, uh, it is not only the chicken, guinea and dengue we are concerned, we are concerned about all the waterborne illnesses also for that matter and anything, uh, maybe a cholera, maybe typhoid, maybe diarrhea, dysenteries and lot of things which are going to now come up. It is not only 
these two diseases and uh, there are other mosquito borne diseases also like malaria which are going to crop up with the coming time. So I think it is high time that all the political parties they join hands together and fight with this kind of a menace situation and it is high time that we should salute the observation of the High Court. High Court, high court is serious about it. Absolutely, of absolutely. Arvind Mehta. Arvind Mehta is with the RWA. He's the president of the RWA. The RWA, everybody talks about the RWA. And we were running on our screen just now, promises made by both political parties, Ahmadmi Party and the BJP, that we will make Delhi mosquito free, that there will be no garbage on the streets of Delhi. These are also... These are also parties that repeatedly talked about how they would work with the RWA to solve all of the problems magically. And all these magical solutions were available during the election period from both the BJP and the Ahmadmi Party. Neither of them have done anything to help. Arvind Mehta. My, 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 my first you know, observation is that why not to get rid of Ahmadmi Party and BJP from Delhi? That is the only solution. They do not rise above the party lines. They don't come together. And the poor residents are left to defend themselves against all these things. And in particular, in particular, you know, we are looking after our area. We are managing the Dalaos. We are managing the door-to-door -door collection of the garbage. We are managing to see to it that twice a day, the garbage is lifted from the bins which are lying on the road. But still they spill out, you know. And I'm telling you too, it's a pathetic you do you actually come? believe, do you actually believe, Arvind Mehta, that it will be easier to remove politicians from Delhi than to remove mosquitoes from Delhi? Yeah, definitely, I, I actually believe. Let, let them not work, let the RWS work. I think we can work together under Urja and we can get the Delhi cleaned. There's no problem at all. It is not difficult because we don't have any vested interests. We rise above the politics and we work together and we see to it that our area is neat and clean and is free from dengue, chicken, gunia or swine flu. It is first time I am hearing that in the month of January, February, there are so many cases of swine flu, chicken, but gunia you know, and dengue. Here's, here's my problem, Arvind Mehta, and, and my problem also to all of the fancy people who live in fancy parts of Delhi where water doesn't log and garbage doesn't pile up on the street. If you think you've managed to keep your areas clean, do you honestly believe a mosquito cannot fly in from a different neighborhood? Do mosquitoes need visas to fly in from the slum areas into your neighborhood Absolutely. and to give you dengue and your children dengue and, and, and um, you know, the son or the daughter of a member of parliament, do you think that your children will not get dengue and chicken gunia? Are your children in some way different? In some way, do you think that they are immune from the bites of the mosquitoes? Sunita, there seems to be some sort of confusion yeah. about how all of this works. See, when they can't, uh, uh, encroaching, encroachment is happening everywhere. Illegal colonies are uh, increasing day by day. When they can't control these things, how will they control the uh, mosquitoes breeding? So, uh, first of all, this will go on like this only. And uh, municipality, they have to make some standards, you know. They don't have sincerity, they, they, they don't have integrity, they are corrupt, they are just making money out of tenders, they are making money uh, in the name of fogging. They, uh, it's on the paper, maybe. So many times fogging is going on. But in, uh, in reality, fogging, either it's uh, a weakened mixture or uh, there's no fogging. And uh, the, uh, the vehicle they are saying, if you see in posh areas, the vehicle goes like, you know, uh, they have to pick one person and go. They just uh, make announcement. They don't even stop for two minutes. And if there are five houses in the posh colony, I'm talking of Lodi colony and things like that, uh, people can't come out and give the garbage. Secondly, whenever they pick up garbage, where they are throwing right. it, right. nobody knows. Because they pick from one place and they throw to another, another place. Another place. And these slum areas, which are increasing day by day, who is my bab for these slum areas? Nobody bothers. I'm working with 10 slums, and I see that there, there, ro there, there are no roads, first of all. And uh, the gullies, you know, they are full of filth, full of water. And now rainy season is coming, so the, uh, the conditions are becoming, uh, uh, becoming worse and worse, you know. So uh, these people, they, when there is no political will, they will not do anything. And sincerity is not there. They have to learn. They have to have some planning. They but have you know, to learn. You know, I want to point out. I want to point out to our panel and to our sense. audience. You'll realize that there is this problem that we're seeing happen to Delhi right now. Our crowning glory, our capital city, waterlogged after half an hour of rain, garbage piling up on the streets, disease spreading to everything. This is this is the problem in all of our cities.
in Mumbai, in Bangalore, in Chennai, in Hyderabad, in Pune, there's waterlogging everywhere. This means that all of these things are symptoms of the same disease. Dr. Ravi Malik, the disease, incidentally, is not a medical one. It's corruption. There is money. There's no political intent. Across party lines, politicians have uh, failed urban India. Uh, you are right that um, it is not only the, it is not a medical problem, it is a public health problem and the basic responsibility of the public health lies with the state government and uh, more with the MCD. Now with the serious kind of judgment coming from the high court, it is coming from the uh, high court and, and in fact they are even saying that if you are not serious, then we will uh, take it as a contempt of court. It is in fact a uh, very, very um, uh, precarious situation where now it is high time for all of us to get serious. And by the end of the rope, it is the agony, it is the morbidity and it is the mortality of the people. It is the mortality of the children, it is, which has been happening for so long. So it is high time that uh, we should all uh, come out from our own areas of uh, whether we are politicians, doctors or social workers or whatever and we should all join hands in a positive way. The first thing is that if we keep on defending, if we don't take the accountability onto ourselves, then we are not going to improve the situation at all. We need to take the accountability and right. take care of uh, this thing that this year uh, both these illnesses, they don't come up. Yeah, I want to bring in... Uh Satpreet is on the phone line from Noida. Our phone lines are open to our viewers. If you want to call in and add a point or you want to call in and be part of the discussion, ask a question, do so. Satpreet, go ahead. We can hear you. Satpreet, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Go ahead. We, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I want to uh, say that we apparently said we should, uh, we should make uh, Delhi politician free rather than making uh, mosquito free, first of all. You know, that will really help. Because these people, these people, they have the audacity to come to uh, the debate. Yes. And without any preparation, and after that, they go back home, they speak well, and they do nothing about it. Every year this happens, and, and they, they, they are completely, completely not doing anything about it. Absolutely. They're not doing anything about it. And Delhi has, Delhi is the seat of power. It has more powerful people per square foot than any other city. You would think that they would use their collective power to get some work done. Sudhir is on the phone line from Mumbai. Sudhir, go ahead. All right, we'll try and get in touch with Sudhir. Shikarai, Shikarai, I will, I will grant you this much. Shikarai and the BJP have always been willing to come onto the show and talk about the problems. The Ahmadmi Party led Delhi state government will refuse to even answer questions about what they have and have not done. Shikharai, why can't the BJP and the Ahmadmi party set aside their political differences and actually work honestly this time for the citizens of Delhi? No, no, we are committed to that. It is, uh, we do not want uh, the people of Delhi to suffer on this count. We would not let it so. It is not. We are committed to what we have promised. You know, uh, as it is being said, nothing has been done. That's why I get agitated that why nothing has been uh, done. Uh, we have issued instructions clearly to all the three MCDs that what we have, whatever we have promised, we'll have to do it for the people of uh, Delhi. And for that matter, the next concern, immediate concern that's taken care of is the rainwater drains that get clogged that come under the purview of MCD. But what about the big uh, drains that come under the uh, Delhi government? Again, you will say that it's passing on the back to Amadbi Party. The question is not so. The question is that if there are two agencies working in Delhi, then we have to uh, be together for that matter. The big drains don't get cleared, so that smaller drains would go to the big drains. They get overflowed uh, during the uh, rains. And that's why, you know, in many places, sewage is in such a bad situation. Then when the rainwater comes, it, uh, the, they overflow, and then they go back to the rainwater drains. And so the, uh, there is water on the roads all over. But I may tell you, we have already started an awareness campaign as far as chikungunya and dengue is concerned. As you know, it is it breeds on the... Uh, Fresh water, there is a campaign door-to-door -door started by the MCDs for this awareness campaign. And 
that the malaria department, that is the anti uh, uh, larva breeding department, has already started okay. its work as far as they are concerned. That's not good enough. Uh, that's not, that's not good enough. The, I'll tell you why. Uh, you know, uh, the spraying that medicine. It is not that nothing is being done. We are also human beings. We also care for Delhi. We live in Delhi. How can we let you know uh, that happen? This is the court's observation. The court has noted that not a single decision, not one decision of disciplinary action has been taken by the corporations against any of their employees, nor has any citizen been penalized for violating municipal laws. The court has also said it is obvious that the officials will not act for the people. Oh, yeah. But will they no, act if their own so. skins they, were in danger? Any, I'm, I'm uh, quoting the High Court. Don't argue with me. This is These are arguments that you should have placed before the bench. You should have made these absolutely. arguments in court. The bench has also said it is shocking, using the word shocking, that authorities wanted citizens to use a mobile app to make visible to them garbage which is overflowing stretching on the roads for miles to miles. Do you need a mobile app for people to tell you that? Isn't this something you should have already known? Isn't this something you should have already known? Sudhir is on the phone line from Mumbai. Sudhir, go ahead. Yes. Good evening, madam. Good evening. You see, now the slogan of the Bhajap was Swachya Bharat. And then on that point, which said they have always gained full majority everywhere. Hmm. Now the question is, now why are they avoiding the responsibility? They are putting the blame on the AAP or any other party. They are not doing this, they are not doing that. What about your own municipal corporation? Now they are not taking any responsibility. They are just saying, we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do this, we'll do that, we're doing this. Otherwise, in the last five years also, they were there. And now, after again, with the same story is being repeated, and the same case is in Mumbai. Yes. Now, why is the government should be held responsible now? Yes. I don't understand. We have the full power. power. The municipality has the full power. And now in Mumbai, so they are thinking the same thing. Actually, and actually, 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 and actually, 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 they are our. Then why the hell the people actually, have voted you? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, absolutely. I fully agree with the. Go ahead. I, I fully agree. And with this is the, the way gentleman. The BJP is on. That's. Go ahead, go ahead, Dr. Dr. Malik. So, yeah, so, uh, so long as we are defending and passing the buck from one political party to the other, whosoever uh, the party may be, we will not be able to uh, fight with these kind, this kind of a serious problem. Because, because for all these things, we need to be united for the public health problem because it is, by and large, it is a very, very serious issue. And this gentleman is absolutely right that if we are not able to accept, the first thing will be the acceptance, the second thing will be the implementation of the things so that the things on ground they work. So right. with a non-defending attitude and with a strong political will, only uh, by these two things we can uh, fight with this problem. Otherwise this time also again the similar things will happen. And it is not only that we have to take care of the water logging and other things, we have to do a lot of things like sensitizing people, fogging, then uh, um, uh, taking the precautions from the bites and then uh, opening a right, special right. clinic. You know, I, I have because a question for Arpit ba uh, Arpit, year, Arpit, and Chikangunia and with the... Please. Right, Arpit, Ar Arpit Bhargav is, is the petitioner in this particular case. He's also a lawyer. Arpit, you tell me, what happens if no change happens now? A, the High Court has threatened contempt of court. But you tell me, if people are going to die of Chikangunia and Dengue with absolutely no accountability, for these elected representatives, shouldn't they be held? Shouldn't they be held for manslaughter, culpable homicide, uh, see, for murder? Uh, because they are willfully, in through their inaction, causing the death of human beings. See what has happened is since 2015, this the many orders were passed in my PIL. Now, after taking cognizance of various status reports of uh, the MCDs of the Delhi government, it came out clearly that all the reports are misleading. Now, the situation is the commissioners are being summoned to the High Court on 21st of June. All the commissioners of MCDs are personally have to be present on 21st of June. It is for this reason only to explain if any death happens, what will happen to everyone, every citizen of Delhi. Why should citizens of Delhi suffer because of the apathy of the government? I have a question for our Honorable Prime Minister. Actually, 
यू आर हैविंग अ स्वच्छ भारत कैंपेन वाई कॉन्ट बी फर्स्ट सेटल डाउन टू स्वच्छ डेली कैंपेन वेर विच इज द कैपिटल ऑफ द कंट्री यू आर हेयर एवरी वन इज रिजाइडिंग हेयर लेट एस फर्स्ट क्लीन द स्टेट एंड देन गो टू दी भारत Mr. Arvind Mehta, yes. Do you actually believe that members of elected government of Delhi, various members of various levels of government in Delhi, should be held accountable if someone dies in the city of either of these diseases? Definitely, definitely, it is the responsibility. Is it, it there is accountability of the officials of the NCD as well as Delhi government? Along with that, it is also the accountability of the elected members. Also, they are the one who are ruling the roost. You know, they are the one who are answerable. They are the one who should be held responsible for any death in Delhi in their area, particular in my area. If there is any case of swine flu, chicken gunia, they must be held responsible for that, and they are answerable for that. That why all that happened? What were what 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 was what happened? that this situation came you know i i must tell you one thing we are there to help out them but then they should come together uh, there is an agony we have trifurcated the mcd that the job should be trifurcated and easily taken care of but i think the problems have multiplied more and they have become more aggravated and in the coming times the councillors who are new absolutely who are not aware of anything regarding the mcd because they are not trained at all they have not taken over yet their job today also i was with my counselor but i failed to understand how the things are going to happen because after another 15 20 days we are going to be in deep waters deep waters of the monsoon well, I, I, you know i want to take this question now to kamal mitrishoy kamal mitrishoy is it not true that between the aam aadmi party and the delhi uh, and the uh, the bjp run mcd neither of them will allow the other one to work because neither wants the other to have credit so they are constantly stopping each other the aam aadmi party is stopping the mcd the mcd is stopping the uh, the, the bjp is stopping the aam aadmi party as a result it is the people of delhi who are going to struggle well i hate to say this was a rather facile argument okay. because the delhi government cannot intervene in the mcd there is a separation of powers and secondly most important is the fact that this has been recognized by the bjp and that is why they changed all their councillors in the mcd but as mr mehta has said that these people must also need to be trained it is not just enough being a politician they must be sensitive to the problems of the city which have variations uh, in in, uh, in number of places but the political parties and uh, the are not getting together to make some common uh, kind of program for the citizens of delhi why? and that is why, why the rws as gro groups of citizens activists have to work and push the political class to take this much more seriously and not Uh, deal with it P professor professor, professor chinoy kamal mitra chinoy kamal mitra chinoy manoj tiwari because this is what happens in a monsoon manoj so, tiwari the you delhi you do deal without the political class if you think that you think you can handle the problems without the political class you are living in a fool's paradise well nobody wants to handle the problem without the political class nobody wants to have to pick up their own garbage and sweep their own streets and clean up the water but i don't think the political class of delhi have left the citizens with any choices but then why are you supposing the delhi government and mcd they have to work together who's telling them not to i want to understand why these two governments cannot work together just when he won the election on the 26th of april manoj tiwari the bjp delhi head said the aam aadmi party government in delhi is not letting the municipal corporations function properly he assured that bjp will make delhi garbage free now you you tell me shikara you are here representing the bjp why can't the bjp and the aam aadmi party just work together put the people of delhi first we will be so pleasantly surprised if you for once set aside your differences and actually put the people first they don't care for people <laughs> that's what you i know, could there say there is nothing uh... go ahead shikara shikara Shikha Rai, can you hear me? Shikha Rai, answer because they they are uh, going different poles, you know. No, it's not only that. And they just don't care about the public. We've not been able to hear her for her last intervention, so there's a problem with the voice sound. 
She is not speaking. Actually, what will she answer? Because they are just not bothered. They are just not bothered. <laughs> as long as they get it, then only they will realize. But Radha, Radha, Krishna, Radha Krishna is on the phone line from Mumbai. Yes, Radha Krishna, go ahead. Radha Krishna, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Radha Krishna, can you hear me? Go ahead. Yeah, Madam, Mr. Narendra Modi was talking about Satcha Bharat. Hmm. Under this direct knows what is happening in Delhi, he is not able to control it. Then what is the point in collecting Satcha Bharat just all along since the last three years? Yes. In Mumbai also same, same BJP government. There also it is same BJP. There is 10 years, here is 20 years. And we are facing the same problem everywhere. I stay in Garudia Nagar. The first monsoon is getting flooded here. Yes. This is happening since the last 20 years. The Garudia Nagar colony came in 1977. We are facing the problem right since the beginning. Yes. You know, uh, the, here's the question that we must ask. And we're going to try and get the re representative of the BJP back again. There's something called a Swachh Bharat Cess that we pay every time we buy an article or we use a service, a Swachh Bharat says. In fact, we spent the one hour preceding this show talking about the fact that our farmers are in, di in, st in distress and we were wondering where the Krishi Kalyan says is going. I want to know where the Swachh Bharat says is going. The money that gets collected in from us, pockets. thousands of crores of rupees from across the country, where is this money going? Why is it not being used to clean our cities? Name one city. Name one big city in our country which is actually clean and disease free and has managed to control disease. And we're not asking for great things. We're not asking for shiny streets. We're just asking for a disease free life for our children. Dr. Ravi Malik, is there any city that has managed to be truly swatch to keep the children safe? Um, uh, definitely for that matter as far as the public health goes and as far as the infectious diseases are concerned India is almost uh, on the uh, one of the top countries where the um, uh, 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 sanitation problem diseases or mosquito borne vector borne diseases are almost at the top. Now uh, what I cannot understand from this debate is that municipal body has to do its own functioning, Delhi government has to do its own functioning. I agree that 5 to 10 percent of overlapping of the work is there, but if we sincerely, even if the governments are not cooperating fully, but even if they are doing their work sincerely on one side and the other party is doing the work on, sincerely on the other side, I don't see any reason that they should blame each other for the menace. So what I uh, want to point out is that if municipal body is doing the job seriously and this job requires meticulous planning. It is not only the control of the vector for which we are concerned, it is not only the disposal of the garbage what we are concerned, we are also concerned about when there is a load of patients which will be there in coming to a one, two or three months, if supposedly the dengue and chikungunya epidemic occurs, then you need lot of things. It is not only the mosquito control, you need to have different clinics, you need to have investigative setups, you need to have uh, platelets uh, if they are required by the community you need to have lot of things and it has to be um, uh, it has to be fought at a warm footing and and even if there is no cooperation but the municipal corporation is doing the work nicely and uh, uh, independently and with full sense of accountability and on the other side the government is also performing well I think it is high time when the high court after taking so many status report as I have come to know from the petitioner is giving a judgment where they are saying that uh, where they are summoning all the commissioners it is a serious issue and and on the other side the public is also suffering for last so many years so what i feel is that instead of putting the blame on each other i think all the political parties along with all the ngos social workers and the medical community should join hands to fight with it because otherwise we are not going to take over this problem and this will continue to be a big public health problem um, increasing the toll of mortality and morbidity both on the community, our children are at stake, our parents are at stake, elderly people are at stake and there are mortalities happening. The people are dying so we need to be very serious about it. We do need to be serious about it. Rohit is on the phone line from Amrit. Amrit sir, Rohit go ahead. Yeah. Yes Rohit, Ro Rohit go ahead, we can hear you. Yeah. 
Hi, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, only one thing, uh, one point which I would like to share about that. Like, yes. As uh, I was sharing about, uh, like, uh, as you were discussing about the garb. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Rohit. Please go ahead. So, ma'am, as you... I was sharing about that, we are Indian minds. And we are used to it. I mean, putting a garbage on the road. Hmm. Because why we are putting a we are putting a garbage on the road because we are continuously doing the same and we are following the each other and uh, and to me as an individual uh, I think I want to make only one point that is there is only one and only one solution that is there should be a penalty for that. All right, uh, Rohit, Rohit from Amrit sir, I, I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna go back right now to Shikhar Rai, Shikhar Rai representing the BJP in Delhi. Can you make us a promise? of any sort at all that you will do or that the, the, the BJP led MCDs will do some work, any work, yes, definitely. in all honesty, definitely. so that on the 21st when you appear before the no, High Court no, of not, Delhi, not, that not you are able work. to show, to cut a better, you cut a, a less sorry figure than has been done today. I'll come and mirror now. No, it's, see, I, I, hello? Yes, Shika, go ahead. See, I want to say that it's not that some work, whatever is required, whatever is needed for the, uh, for Delhi, for uh, a clean and uh, swatch Delhi, it will be done. It's, so if, there is so nothing why couldn't you have done it up to now? To be made. It is so if you can there, promise me, is there. if you can promise will, me with so much casual uh, casualty that you can, you can just say in such a nonchalant manner that whatever needs to be done will be done, I promise you. Why wasn't it done up till now? Why wasn't it done in the last 10 years? Yes, yes, I said... I said no new promise. It is already there. It's our commitment. We'll give you a, uh, a green, clean Delhi. It's it is when? not so that we are running away from our duty when or anything like that. When you give me a green, clean yes, Delhi? Yes, of course. I started with saying that whatever they, there are shortcomings, that will, will also be taken care of. When will you give me a green, clean Delhi? Yes, of course. See, I cannot now say it will be by 15th of June, 20th of June. Is, this is a promise for which uh, the uh, people of Delhi have voted us, voted us in majority and we will definitely keep our promise. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Arpit, Arpit Bhargav, while uh, the BJP representative on our panel might say that she cannot say 20th of June, 21st of June, and she can call, and most political parties have constantly made open-ended promises to us saying we can't tell you when, but heaven is coming, the High Court of Delhi has set a date. And if they don't have better answers on the 21st of June, there's contempt of court proceedings very likely waiting for them, Arpit. Yes, indeed. In fact, these promises, these hollow promises, I would say, have been continuing to be made by every government. I would not say BJP government. Every government since 1998. So therefore, 20th of June is the deadline. They have to do not something, but many things. They'll have to do in order to comply with the orders of the court. It is not that they are promising us. It is the compliance of the orders of the court that they'll have to do now. Had it been the case that they had to promise us, they would have done it by now. So many cases would not have arisen. So many deaths would not have taken place in 2015 and 16. It is because of their apathy that Let this is happening today. remind you, that I before any court, court ordered anything, it was now. Modi ji who started this Swachh Bharat campaign. It is so not that BJP him, is not please, committed to this uh, campaign. Please ask him to intervene. Please ask him to make a if statement. We have become in... aware about cleanliness. It is only because of BJP government and its leadership. I appreciate. I appreciate, madam. Please ask Modi ji to make a statement about dengue and chikungunya. Yes. And that is what High Court if, judges had So said there is in the order. So on the on the part of BJP, as far as intention and will is concerned, it is there. Of it's course, the effort will, efforts will kindly, also be made out. Kindly turn them into actions. Tell Modi ji to do it in the monkey bath when he's connecting with so many people. Yes, of course. Dr. Yes, Dr. Yes, Dr. Malik, Dr. Dr. Malik, go ahead. Dr. Malik, go ahead. We are ahead. wanting people of Delhi to be safe. Actually, it is not, on, it is not only century, the intention and will which is required. We are wanting people of Delhi to be safe. We are wanting people of Delhi to be Dr. Malik. Zika is waiting. Zika is there. By and large, it is not only the intention and will which is required, it is also required is, what is required is, meticulous planning, having the meetings with public that, health experts, that, with the doctors, and then planning course. out, yes. talking out, and an execution. 
which should be done impatiently and as urgently as possible because we are now in the mid uh, uh, june and uh, probably in july when the monsoon will come it will be too late for us so doctor it, doctor it, malik it is zika is the zika virus also a risk right of... now is the zika virus also a risk right now for us it is uh, it it is it is not a big risk right now because few cases have been reported but we are seriously concerned about chikungunya uh, dengue and more so with malaria also even malaria is also a life threatening illness if if someone gets uh, falciparum malaria or cerebral malaria there are chances for the patient to be dead also so these are the vector borne diseases which we are heading on to and and for this it needs real meticulous plan planning and uh, an execution on the ground and uh, we need to do a lot of things health education and i must appreciate your channel for bringing uh, uh, such a kind of program which will sensitize the people also because ultimately it is their health and they have also to take the responsibility of uh, their health whatever they can do they should try to uh, from your channel i will like to give certain precautions which is very important because we have uh, discussed so much of the things you should not let any clean water stay in your house may it be in the broken utensils may it be in the uh, tires or in the um, uh, water head tanks yes. or in the coolers and uh, in the in the uh, plants or in the uh, all these uh, broken utensils we should not let the water be there for more than a week because this mosquito is going to percolate and we must all keep ourselves covered because this mosquito is going to bite only where it is given the chance so if we keep right. ourselves okay. fully okay. covered we take all the precautions we take mosquito net right thank you doctor in fact i i have to wrap up this conversation but i'm going to point this out in the last fiscal year of 2016-17 in the last fiscal year of 2016-17 the swachh bharat campaign collected 3900 crore rupees from us as indians swachh bharat campaign 2015-16 collected 3900 crore rupees from us across the country in the total campaign there's 14622 crore rupees that has been allotted to urban swachh bharat campaign where is the money going is there a single city in this country where garbage is not piling up in this manner is there a single city in the country where mosquitoes are not breeding where people are not dying of diseases that are completely avoidable because mosquitoes are biting us our children are going to fall sick and they're going to die how much will be protect our children from the mosquitoes they'll go to school the mosquitoes will find them there you can protect your house as much as you want to ladies and gentlemen but the mosquito will be waiting for you when you step out because your city is not clean and why is your city not clean because the elected representatives who take advantage of our feelings and take advantage of our needs and constantly make promises have absolutely no intention to keep those promises in any of our cities In Bangalore there's a Congress government in Delhi there's an Aam Aadmi Party government in Mumbai there's a BJP government is there any difference in the treatment of any of these three cities it's all the same we have to stop putting up with it we have to demand better service for the taxes that we pay we pay taxes we are tax paying citizens we have to demand that our elected representatives actually are accountable for the promises that they make they have to give us clean water clean air and basic health garbage piling up outside our street water logging mosquitoes and death is not good enough and on this particular channel during the upcoming monsoon i am telling you to every one of these cities also in that city list is hyderabad and calcutta and pune and chennai if people start falling sick because you people are not good enough to do your job i promise you we will tell every story in painful detail so that in the next election every citizen will remember it every story in every city will be told on this channel thanks for watching